Community centers are included in those 273 damaged structures. Columbus has eight parks in the city and three community centers. One suffered tornado damage, while two others felt flooding impacts. Sim Scott Park Community Center may be a total loss, and the park had a lot of damage also. Our Jory Talley joins us live now from the park with more on that. Jory. The tornado left reminders all over Sim Scott Park. The park and the community center sit in the center of damage, which you can see all around me. Right now, it's a sad sight for many in the neighborhood, but it won't stay that way forever. The recent Columbus tornado ripped the heartbeat of this community to pieces. This park is very significant to the community. There's a lot of rich history in this park. A lot of firsts happened in this park. As a matter of fact, I played baseball in this park. So, I mean, it's like this park means a lot to the community. And once we make sure that our citizens are safe and make sure that they're taken care of, we're going to do everything we can to try to put it back together again. Memories of what used to be linger. Columbus Parks and Rec Director Greg Lewis sees a completely different view today than he did over 20 years ago when he landed his first job out here. There's a lot of sentimental value that you know goes in this park because you've worked here and you've helped put things together and each person that works here has that sentimental value and then you've got the seniors that have been here for years and years and years and a lot of their things, their quilts and things were destroyed and that's why I was over there trying to see can I recover some of the stuff from their uh, quiltings and things like that but it's really not anything left. What's usually a thriving place now looks more like a ghost town. Lewis says damage estimates are around a million dollars. Pretty much everything got damaged except for that one single uh, bench over there. The Joe Edwards bench is probably the only thing that's not damaged, including even though the building is still standing, the substation, it, it, it received damage as well. Although Sim Scott is the only park with tornado scars, floodwaters left their mark at the Riverwalk and Probes Park. The waters got up and received floods, but it didn't get into any of the buildings, but it did you know, get as high as three or four feet on the playground. So I mean, it looked like everything was covered, but after the water subsided, we did go down, and as of right now, we've not found any damage. Lewis says once initial recovery steps and assessments are done, rebuilding can start. We've been looking at damage and like I said, because of other agencies in town, we have to give them buildings. Uh, the school has been very helpful and beneficial. I have a meeting with them today and they're going to try to see, uh, come up with ways to kind of house these, pro these programs until we can get back on our feet again. So like I said, the uh, Columbus Municipal School District is doing a great job in trying to work with us. Lewis says right now the main focus is making sure that the impacted residents, their safety and the, their well, welfare rather, that is the main concern. Then future plans for damaged buildings and properties like out here can start. Reporting live here in Columbus, Jory Talley, WCBI News.